Cancer has affected my life uh, pretty dramatically. Uh, when I was 23 in 2014, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma. I went through a pretty intensive regimen of chemotherapy that lasted about three years. And it was a fight. It was a, it was a, it was a tough fight. It was a long fight. It stole years of my life, lots of long, sleepless nights. And it's been a, it's been a battle just to get back to where I'm at today. I found out I had cancer from having my biopsy done in Bowling Green, Kentucky after having terrible headaches and I set up an MRI and they told me there was a huge mass on my left frontal version. I got a phone call and I was diagnosed with grade four glioblastoma, which is a brain tumor, which has a very small life expectancy after that. I found out that I had cancer, initially from a bout with food poisoning. I was feeling stomach pains, stabbing pains, bloating, just extremely uncomfortable. So when it got to the point where my pain was unbearable, my wife drove me to an urgent care because I just had to figure out what was wrong. On that Friday is when I found out I had a neuroendocrine tumor. When I was diagnosed, I had just been married for two weeks. And I remember when I was in the hospital telling my wife, if you want to leave, it's okay, I understand. And she told me, till death do us part. I'm extremely grateful to have her in my life. She gives me many reasons to fight. My battle with cancer was pretty short. I was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer, uh, invasive. I had cancer in both breasts. However, I only had to have a lumpectomy and radiation, which lasted six weeks. But I will say that um, my life is largely uh, changed because of the moment of diagnosis. A strong support system, especially in the case of cancer, is super imperative. My family was always there from my grandfather and we still are today. He actually ended up moving in with us during his um, first round of treatment. You know, I think in every kind of hardship you need somebody to lean on. When you're going through the fight, you, you, you find inspiration from all, all, all types of places family, friends, support system, but I, I also found a lot of strength from other cancer survivors, other people fighting the good fight. Guys that had gone through something that I had gone through and gone on to run um, Ironmans, gone through the fight and gone on to do incredible things. Those were the stories that really, uh, that really fired me up. There are certain things that you learn when you go through really hard times, and one of those things is letting people be there for you. Some of these really challenging moments become gifts, where you meet yourself and you learn what it is that you need to learn to bring you joy and to make life better. And one of those things is letting people love you and take care of you. People who are going through and battling cancer, something to look forward to is there's so many other people that are going through it. Get a hold of someone who has the, battling the same things as you or others, because there are times when you don't feel very good yourself about life or why you were chosen, but maybe that's the reason it was to meet them. The reason I'm here talking to you right now is because I realize how important it is to share. So many people go through cancer and can't find the courage to speak about it. It's extremely important to share because you never know who you're gonna help. Ring the bell is fantastic. It's a kind of a tradition when people end chemo. You know, you ring the bell, you let everybody know, and everybody that's in the, in the, in the ward right there gets to hear it. You know, when I do it, uh, I actually rang the, knock the bell off the wall. Anybody's going through the fight, I'm like, hey, you know, you're gonna ring the bell. You know, you just keep keep fighting because that bell, you're gonna ring that bell soon enough. Like, 
you know, there's going to be some tough days, but you'll be ringing that bell before you know it.